Today we use Eucharistic Prayer 2 on page 9 of your Blue Service books, the one for Advent. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Worship and praise belong to you, God our Maker. Out of nothing you called all worlds to be, and still you draw the universe to its fulfilment. Dawn and evening celebrate your glory till time shall be no more. In Christ your Son, the life of heaven and earth were joined, sealing the promise of a new creation given yet still to come. Taught by your Spirit, we who bear your threefold likeness, look for the city of peace, in whose light we are transfigured until the earth is transformed. As children of your redeeming purpose, who await the coming of your Son, we offer you our praise with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, saying the hymn of your unending glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and thanksgiving be to you, most loving Father. In Jesus, you showed us yourself. Our hope is built on him, the first, the last, the living one. Obedient, even to accepting death, he opened the gate of glory and calls us now to share the life of heaven. Before he was given up to suffering and death, a light with the vision of a feast that heralded a kingdom yet to come. At supper with his disciples, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, it is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out for you and for all, that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. We now obey your son's command. We recall his blessed passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Made one with him, we offer you these gifts, and with them ourselves, a single, holy, living sacrifice. Hear us, most merciful Father, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and this wine, that overshadowed by his life-giving power, they may be the body and blood of your Son, and we may be kindled with the fire of your love and renewed for the service of your kingdom. Help us, who are baptized in the, the fellowship of Christ's body, to live and work to your praise and glory. May we grow together in unity and love, until at last in your new creation, in the company of the Virgin Mary, the apostles and prophets, and of all our brothers and sisters, living and departed, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be to you, Lord of all ages, world without end. We continue on page 20. The living bread is broken for the life of the world. Lord, unite us in this sign. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. And so, this is the table of the Lord Jesus Christ, made ready for those who love him and for those who want to love him more, even for those who haven't even met him yet. So come, you who have much faith and you who have little, Come not because I invite you, it is our Lord, and he invites you to meet him here. The body of Christ, broken for you. The blood of Christ, poured out for you, and for me. These are the gifts of God for the people 